When you think about maintaining healthy lungs, the first things that come to mind are usually avoiding smoking, staying active, and steering clear of polluted environments. But what if I told you what's on your plate could also play a significant role in how well your lungs function? Research has uncovered a fascinating connection between dietary fiber intake and lung health, suggesting that eating more fiber-rich foods might just be one of the simplest ways to support your respiratory system. This video will break down the science behind this link and explore why fiber might be the unsung hero for the health of your lungs. But before we get into the nitty-gritty of dietary fiber, it's important to understand how lung function is measured. Pulmonary function tests, particularly spirometry, are the gold standard of assessing how well your lungs are working. Two key measurements are often used. Forced vital capacity, or FVC, which is the total amount of air you exhale after taking a deep breath or forced expiratory volume in one second, or FEV1, which measures how much air you forcefully exhale in the first second. The ratio of FEV1 to FVC is used to diagnose obstructive lung diseases like asthma and COPD. However, there's another pattern that's been gaining attention. Spirometric restriction, where both FVC and FEV1 are reduced proportionally, leaving the FEV1 to FVC ratio normal. This pattern is often overlooked but can signal underlying issues like obesity, pulmonary edema, and even early signs of interstitial lung disease. Interestingly, research has shown that reduced lung function, even within what's considered the normal range, is associated with a host of adverse health outcomes, from cardiovascular disease to cognitive decline. This has led scientists to shift their focus from just diagnosing lung diseases to understanding how lung health impacts overall well-being. And that's where dietary fiber comes into the picture. As previously mentioned, a study published in Annals of the American Thoracic Society by Hansen and colleagues brought the relationship between dietary fiber and lung function into the spotlight. Using data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Surveys, the researchers found that individuals with the highest intake of dietary fiber had better lung function and were more likely to have normal spirometry results. On the flip side, those with lower fiber intake tended to exhibit spirometric restrictions, even in the absence of obstructive lung diseases like COPD. But what exactly is it about fiber that seems to benefit the lungs? To answer that, we need to look at the broader role of fiber in the body. Dietary fiber found in plant-based foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and legumes is best known for its digestive benefits. It helps regulate bowel movements, feeds the gut microbiome, and even lower cholesterol levels. However, its effects extend far beyond the gut. Fiber is also a marker of a high-quality diet, rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and other bioactive compounds that combat inflammation and oxidative stress, two processes that are increasingly recognized as key players in lung health. Chronic inflammation and oxidative stress are like the silent saboteurs of lung function. Inflammation can damage lung tissue over time, while oxidative stress, caused by an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants, can accelerate this damage. Both processes are implicated in a range of respiratory conditions, from asthma to interstitial lung disease. This is where fiber-rich diets are beneficial. Foods high in fiber are typically packed with anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds, such as polyphenols and carotenoids, which help neutralize free radicals and reduce inflammation. For example, studies have shown that people with higher levels of serum carotenoids, a marker of fruit and vegetable intake, tend to have better lung function. Similarly, diets rich in whole grains, which are a major source of cereal fiber, have been linked to lower levels of systemic inflammation. This suggests that the benefits of fiber for lung function may be indirect, stemming from its role in promoting an overall anti-inflammatory and antioxidant-rich diet. The benefits of dietary fiber aren't limited to the lungs. Research has consistently shown that high-fiber diets are associated with a lower risk of chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and even certain cancers. For instance, the Iowa Women's Health Study found that women who scored higher on dietary quality indices had significantly lower rates of mortality from cardiovascular and inflammatory-related diseases. These indices emphasize plant-based foods, including fiber-rich options, and align closely with dietary patterns like the Mediterranean diet. What's particularly interesting is that these diets don't just reduce the risk of specific diseases, they also promote overall health and longevity. This holistic approach to nutrition is a far cry from the reductionist mindset that focuses on single nutrients. 
As you know, food is incredibly complex, and its health effects can't be boiled down to isolated components. Instead, it's the synergy of nutrients and bioactive compounds in whole foods that delivers the greatest benefits. While the direct effects of fiber on lung function are still being explored, it's worth noting that fiber is often a marker of a high-quality diet. Think about it. Foods that are rich in fiber, like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, are also rich in vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals that support overall health. In contrast, low-fiber diets are often high in processed foods, added sugars, and unhealthy fats, which can promote inflammation and oxidative stress. This distinction is crucial because it highlights the importance of dietary patterns rather than individual nutrients. Attempts to simplify food choices based on single nutrients, like focusing solely on fat or carbohydrate content, can lead to misguided decisions that even corrupt the food supply. Instead, a more nuanced approach that emphasizes whole, minimally processed foods is likely to yield the best results for both lung health and overall well-being. One of the most intriguing aspects of the fiber-lung connection is what it tells us about the role of lung health and overall health. Studies have shown that reduced lung function, even within the normal range, is associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular disease, heart failure, and even cognitive decline. For example, research from the Framingham and Tecumseh cohorts found that lower FVC was linked to increased cardiovascular mortality, while other studies have tied lung function decline to hypertension and left ventricular hypertrophy. These findings suggest that the lungs are more than just organs for breathing, they're also a window into systemic health. Impaired lung function may reflect underlying issues like chronic inflammation, endothelial dysfunction, or metabolic disturbances, all of which can have far-reaching consequences. By improving lung health through dietary interventions, we might also be addressing these broader health concerns. So how can you incorporate more fiber into your diet to support your lungs and overall health? Here are some practical tips. Load up on fruits and vegetables. Aim for at least five servings a day, focusing on a variety of colors to maximize your intake of different antioxidants and phytochemicals. Choose whole grains. Swap refined grains like white bread and pasta for whole grain alternatives like quinoa, brown rice, and whole wheat bread. Snack on nuts and seeds. These are not only high in fiber, but also packed with healthy fats and protein. Add legumes to your meals. Beans, lentils, and chickpeas are excellent sources of fiber and can be easily added to soups, salads, and stews. Read food labels. Look for products with at least three to five grams of fiber per serving. Remember, increasing your fiber intake should be done gradually to avoid digestive discomfort, and it's important to drink plenty of water to help fiber do its job. The connection between dietary fiber and lung function is a compelling reminder of the intricate links between diet and health. While the research is still evolving, the evidence so far suggests that a high-fiber diet, rich in plant-based foods, can play a significant role in supporting lung health and reducing the risk of respiratory issues. But perhaps more importantly, this connection underscores the need to view lung health as an integral part of overall well-being, influenced by a wide range of factors from diet and exercise to inflammation and oxidative stress. As we continue to learn more about the complex relationship between nutrition and health, one thing is clear. Taking care of your lungs isn't just about avoiding harmful exposures. It's also about nourishing your body with the right foods. So, the next time you sit down to eat, Think about how your choices might be shaping not just your gut, but your lungs too. After all, every breath you take is a testament to the incredible power of your respiratory system and the foods that fuel it. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. There should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. Ah, and just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.